Hi guys, this is Vanek from BlurTech and today we're going to talk about the cameras on both the Verizon Galaxy Nexus and the iPhone 4S and then we will do a matchup and to do, and see how they do versus each other. So let's let's go and take a look. So on this right hand side we have the Verizon Galaxy Nexus from Google and the camera on the back we have a 5 megapixel rear camera, an LED flash and a 1.3 megapixel front shooter for video chat. On the iPhone 4S, we have a VGA unspecified megapixel camera, which which is VGA. I mean, and then on the front, you have a 8 megapixel shooter with an LED flash. So first, let's take a look in the iPhone. Okay, so you have the camera here, and iPhone has this little option right here where where you can switch back and forth between the rear and the front camera. On the left over here, you have the options button. So the first thing it says grid, which is basically now we're without. So we have a grid right now. Let's go back. So you can see the grid here, and let's look at this panel right here. So you can see how there's grid marks, which will let you position the camera better. All right, let's turn the grid off. And we have HDR here. And we will test this out and you will see how HDR photos are compared to other ones. Basically what HDR is, is that it's, it basically adjusts the lighting for you and it sets the right, right lighting and it edits the picture right when, after, right when you take it. So when you take a photo right now with HDR on, it'll say saving HDR. And basically what it'll do is it'll have two photos. One of them just an original version and second with the HDR on, meaning that it will adjust the lighting. On the left side over here, you have just a flash, the LED flash in the back, on, off, or on automatic. And on the right, you have the the video button and the camera switch. And what cool, what's cool about the iPhone 4S is that on the right, on the upper upper volume keys, you can see the plus and the minus. On the plus, you can hold it to shoot, hold to shoot a camera to sh shoot a photo. So just like that, and save the HDR, and we'll go we'll go further into the HDR soon. All right, so basically that's about it on the iPhone 4S. Let's go to the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, which has some more options. So you can see this is the Android 4.0 device, and okay, this is the camera. So when you open your camera, this is what you'll get. Basically, you have the shutter button over here, and you have three icons over here. When you click on it, you get these three little things. One of them is the camera button. The other one would be your video. And the third one will be your panoramic picture mode, which we will do a panorama and show you how exactly how it is. It's basically you're going to take your camera and you're just going to go around like that. All right, let's go back to just a regular photo. Okay, so right here you can switch between the front and the rear camera and on the left over here you have this, this options place basically what it'll do is that it will let you set an exposure to it how much light is going to come in you have the, this little tab over here which will set some moods like the sunset for example you can see how that is and um, on, the on the all the way on the left here you have the little menu button which will you can store your location meaning it'll geotag so when you take a photo it'll know where you were and which is kind of cool you can see all, all the places you were and all the places you visited and see the photos and on here you can choose the picture size 5 megapixel you can go you could down to 3 all the way up to 1.3 which you know is I, I won't use it a lot because I'd rather just use the best one alright so going back you can just tap to focus on to focus on things which is really cool and Going back to iPhone 4S, you can do the same thing. Just focus, tap it'll focus for you. Both of them have really good cameras, and we'll see which one actually beats, beats the other one. And one note is that the 8 megapixel camera on the iPhone 4S does have a video stabilizing mode, meaning that when you're taking a video, let's say a family video or something, you visit somewhere and then you do that a lot you move the camera a lot it'll try to stabilize it so it shows that you're not it'll make it so it doesn't really move 
too much. Alright guys, uh, another cool feature about both of these cameras is that you can access the camera right from your lock screen so you don't miss out any photos that you really want to take when you want to take something really quickly. So over here, when you unlock the button, you know, you can just, just, you can just swipe your finger to the left to the camera and it'll go right into your camera which is pretty cool and also what Google has done with their camera on the Android 4.0 OS is that when you take a photo another one another one it's really fast I mean it's very quick there's almost no shutter lag which is awesome and on the iPhone 4s you have also when you double click the home button you can see that there's a little camera bu camera button and that it'll go jump it'll jump right into your camera right now and also the iPhone 4s does actually well if with HDR I mean it takes a little bit to save but let's say we turn off the HDR and then we just shot 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 it's very fast so they both have reduced the shutter lags which is all, almost instant on both of them now all right and we will do a video test and and a camera test right now